All right, so we're back at it for another day. We got the girl running here. We did not get the inch and a half of rain we were supposed to get. So we're gonna go do some field work. We got one field where it's sand. We're, we're gonna be able to work it over. Uh, we were out there yesterday. We took two trees out of the middle of it and grandpa's actually, there's a old tree line down the middle of two fields that has always been there. We're taking that out and then eventually we'll get to farming around that. But for now, we're just gonna go up there. We gotta seed it into some oats for a different venture. Not growing oats, but it needs to be a cover crop for some of the stuff that we have going on up here for the festival. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go work that over, get it smooth because there's trees, limbs, and there's two giant stumps that were out in the middle of that field, probably 30 plus inch stumps um, in diameter, so they're pretty good size. They might be even bigger than that, I don't even know. Never measured them, but they're big. I know that our loader did not like moving them across the field, so we just pushed them. There's big ruts through that, and then the brush that was around it, and uh, filling the holes back in, we went through and just leveled it up with some topsoil we had around, so we're gonna pull this across it, and that'll take care of that issue get it smooth um we'll throw some shims in and just just scratch the surface nice you know um but then there's 10 acres next to that that is going to be a part of that field that i had worked already not with the disc but with the uh, ripper so we're just going to kind of smooth it up is what we're going for um because we want to get those since that is sitting up the road from where we're farming <sighs> words i was up at 2 30 this morning taking people to the airport so or my wife to the airport so kind of little i'm gonna need a little bit more of this you know so that is sitting up here by our north farm up here in rothbury it's not on our way home but the grain drill is up here and we're gonna seed it with the grain drill. So before that comes back south to the farm to get hooked onto the corn planter, we're gonna get that seeded to oats. So that way we got our cover crop growing, but we wanna get all this done before then. And then we are also going to, there's 33 acres up here that needs to be um, dissed over because it was too wet to work this fall so we're just gonna pull the disc across it and get the corn start uh, get the corn stalks chopped up so that's what we're gonna do the disc will be able to come home then so will the call packer um, that'll get unhooked to this 30 acres though but we will pull it across the first section the first 20 acres so hopefully by the end of the day either that's sitting down at the farm or ready to be sitting down at the farm so that way the we got 80 acres behind the farm that needs to get worked over with that and then yeah we basically caught up on tillage at that point so we're just going to disc over it we're going to try to get the stuff to no till so i don't know i don't know we're gonna <sighs> there's a lot there with the whole no till thing not sure if it's going to work out for this ground but if i could get it there i'd like it we have some no-till ground on the same ridge line of clay that is awesome to work with. So now we're gonna try to get there. That's the goal is. So anyways, I've rambled on enough. We're gonna get to doing some field work.
sort of cover crop. It might be wheat. We got some wheat that has corn right into it. Don't ask how that happened. That's a whole long story of somebody thinking he can haul more than they should. So we might just throw that in the grain drill and get rid of it. I don't know. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do with it all. So. But yeah, this is working out really nice. We're happy with it. And then I'll be able to seed right into this with the grain drill and take care of it all. So. Yeah. Anyways, we're just going to keep rolling. Alright. So we got this 35 acres worked over i think is what it is um worked up great uh we rutted this up really bad in harvest so part of this was just to knock the ruts out of it the other issue we have is you see there's standing water there and there and then there's a wet vein that runs all the way through here and then yeah so it's a wet field if you if you catch what i was getting at there so it's a wet field um we couldn't get the ripper across it because it was too wet um it's finally starting to dry out it was probably a little wet to be out here still but tomorrow sunday monday um the weather's still gonna be good but tuesday it's supposed to start raining it's gonna rain tuesday wednesday thursday friday i think so um, we're kind of dodging rainstorms here and this needs to get worked over and then I got 80 acres back at the farm at, Right behind the farm that needs to get worked over. So Had to get this done. This tractor is um, Going south So I'm gonna jump my truck get it right back up here to the tractor hook it back onto the cull packer because we unhooked it because it would have been a mud roller um, at this point and I probably would have gotten stuck because of it but um, yeah, so we're going to get hooked back up to that, take that back south, unhook again, and then go work those, um, 80 acres, which I probably won't do today. I might do a little just because, um, but we're going to get it back south so we can work it over. And then this will all, I think we're going to work it all over again, um, before we soil finish it. Uh, with the disc because when I say we rutted it up, we rutted it up. I mean, there was foot to two foot deep ruts, and we're only cutting eight inches, six, eight inches with this right now. Um, so we'll work it over one more time with the disc at a different angle, chop up this, um, chop up the residue a little bit better, and because we didn't chop it with our chopper either. So it's a long string, it won't flow through the soil finisher well. So we're gonna get that taken care of. And I think it'll work up really nice to go into soybeans. So yeah, that's what we got going on. So we're gonna get this thing out. All right, so we got the tractor back down here to the farm. So it'll be a nice night to work some fields. But got it all unhooked. And we're just gonna go right out there, do some field work. Still dark, still whenever I feel. We get tired of doing it, I guess, is really what I'm thinking. So, yeah, there you go. Instead of walking back and forth, we'll just leave the tractor out here. I'll pick up my nice ride. It's super dirty. We'll do the job. So, yeah. Old girl's looking good. Working hard. Grab our uh, water and go. So these are some of the ruts I'm talking about. That one right in there is probably two foot deep at the deepest point. So I'm trying to work that in. I mean, you can kind of, I don't know what you'll be able to see. Never mind. But they're rough. 